Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Uh, thanks for joining me. I have a few things to show you today and a few explanations of a few things and what have you. Okay, uh, I have a couple of videos that are going to be coming up this week or this weekend or something, uh, depending on George's schedule. I'm hoping to get it done maybe tomorrow. Ugh. Um, he's been working such crazy hours and with it, you know, it, yeah, anyway, so we haven't been able to do the couple of videos that I really wanted to do. I received the new balanced box snack box in the mail and it's the healthy one that I was going to try out. And so I wanted to do that with George again, because everybody absolutely loved our last one. <laughs> but he's been working so I'm just waiting for him to get you know carve out a half an hour of his time to do this with me. Another one that I wanted to do with George is we got tagged or I got tagged by Heather the Crochet Witch to do the fall tag question tag uh, thing and I haven't been able to get that done either so uh, hopefully it's all going to get done this weekend. Um, what else? Do, 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 uh, I did I, I posted it on Facebook and Instagram was the pocket shawl that I was designing and here it is right here. Um, I'll show it to you in a little bit better. I wanted to give you an explanation as to why I made it. So, um, George, as all of you OGs will know, George is an avid football fan. He just, he's crazy when it comes to football. And <clears throat> so his, he has a friend of his that he calls every game like every game and he calls him like 20 times in a day he lives in Alberta his name is Kevin and he is what we call George's football wife because he talks to Kevin way more than he talks to me sometimes oh I feel like I'm gonna sneeze oh. um so Kevin is his football wife so I'm the other wife <laughs> Uh, so anyways, I thought it would be kind of nice to send something nice to him and to his wife, who is the other wife, and just to kind of say, hey, you know, <laughs> and I thought, well, they, what they do is they, when they watch the football games, because of COVID, they do an outdoor showing. So in their backyard, they've got the TV set up and everything, and they've got the chairs so that all their friends can come over and watch the game together and social distance. So I thought, well, it's cold in Alberta. Uh, they get a lot of snow out there and everything. And, you know, <laughs> so, so I thought, what better way to help them out a little bit and to show our appreciation for being the football wife and being the other wife <laughs> by giving them something handmade that they can wear outside and keep themselves warm. So I made the pocket shawl for his wife and I'll show you what I did. Whoops, is I did the feather stitch And the pocket, what I did, I don't know if you can see this properly. I did on a diagonal kind of, and I haven't quite finished it. I want to get a big button and put it right here just to, you know, finish it up. And then I put the big, you know, what do you call these tassels on it. So I'm really hoping that she's going to like this. <clears throat> Uh, I was going to do it in the football colors, but I kind of went, Ugh, it's, you know, I, it's hard for me to find the colors for their, they love the Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks. 
and trying to find that green color is insane but where did it go i i'm making oh sorry <laughs> i'm making kevin a um a set that he can wear outside as well and so i made his beanie in the seahawks colors and i'm just in the process now of making him a cow the bag of day men's cowl so i'm going to do that in the seahawks colors as well i think i got a pretty good match eh? not bad so yeah so i did that and i'm going to be shipping that off to them once it's finished what else i went to michael's yeah i know <laughs> uh, I actually went there to get the yarn for the Seahawks colors and I actually took my time looking it's that green is a bugger to find and I probably should have shown you what I used but I you know uh, the cowl is actually made from this or the cowl no sorry the uh, pocket shawl is actually made with this and the color is arctic so um and then the these are i believe this is charisma and this is soft and sleek possibly possibly I think so anyways um so I took a look around and I found you guys know how much I love my latte cakes they got another color in look at that now I'm not usually a peachy colored person but this grabbed me for some reason it's I saw I don't know it because it's with the gray it just it looks so pretty so pretty and there's like two or three different tones of peach in this it's like oh it's just so pretty and this one is called strawberry strawberry flam flambe yeah so uh, they had to buy two get one free I never ever buy these at full price, but I thought, well, okay, they're giving me a free one, so meh, whatever. So I bought three of those. And then I figured for Christmas colors, I got a Charisma. And this is red, of course, but this, it's actually showing, it's like a deep, deeper red like that. Um, but yeah, so I got a few of those. I got the three, three balls of that. And then just today, oh, I forgot to bring my scissors over here. I just got my Hobium order. Ho Hobium, Hobie order. I haven't ordered from Hobie in quite a while. And I could not pass this up. They had a sale on them. Oh, so it's the cookie yarn. Who the heck was I? I think it was Crystal from Bag o Day. Uh, she was showing the cookie. And I've got a couple, I've got the red ones down in my cabinet. But this one, I was just like, oh, I need to have that in my life. Uh, the color is four six two one zero but look at that holy cow can you see that like how can you not want that like seriously um and it's darker than that it, oh you can't even no nope, can't even it's it's darker than this but the colors oh so I got three of those and then I got three of these ones oh 
so pretty and the lot of the color number is four six two zero one the lot number is 11. 11 is the sign of angels and it every time you see an 11 it means that the angel your angels are around you and they're watching out for you i've been seeing a lot of 11s lately anyway so i got those two aren't they gorgeous just gorgeous i love them ah so I don't know what I'm going to make with them yet. Probably a pocket shawl or something. Um, but, hey. Uh, what else? Oh, I made... Ooh, hang on. <laughs> I'm squeaking. Uh, I have been on a headband kick like crazy um so i made a few more of the turban twisty kind of headbands so i made this with um a latte latte cake and something else oh let me see that and you can see the little turby twisty thing I made that one. I made pink. I made a couple of these ones. Oops. I made a couple of the pink. And this stuff, it's really stretchy. Uh, made a blue and gray one. That one's kind of cool. This was a cake. I can't remember what the cake was, but that was kind of cute. Oh, I made that one. I made that one. That one actually has different colors in it. I think that was the same as, no, it wasn't. It was a different, different um, uh, cake. And that one and another one of those so yeah I've been just on this kick for some reason uh, I think it's because I'm trying to make up for the years that I didn't have them and was asked for them at craft fairs <laughs> so yeah so I've I want to make some more mask lanyards I got to get on that but yeah uh, what else? I, I don't know what else I've made. I don't think I've made anything else. I'm just, I got to get this scarf done so I can get that in the mail. Uh, yeah. I had a Yarny sister um, contact me. She emailed me a couple of times. You know who you are. Uh, she wanted to send me an email to tell me that she was thinking about me and hoping that my health issues get resolved and um, telling me a little bit about her background and everything. And then she would put at the bottom of her email, she would put a joke just to brighten my day. And I'll tell you, the one joke she told me, the first joke, I almost peed myself. I was laughing so hard. But the, I can't remember exactly what the joke was, but the um, punchline was boobies, like boo bees, like bumblebees. So I was on Facebook one day. Oh, hope that's not. Yeah. I was on Facebook one day and I saw something that I was like, I have to get that and i have to get it in honor of her so here it is <laughs> isn't that adorable oh my god i just i had to get it i was just like there you go <laughs> so um yeah so you know who you are <laughs> 
So that is for you. <laughs> so anyways, um, <laughs> I, I'm just crazy like that, you know. <laughs> and it was really funny because I, after I got the email, it wasn't long after that. It was only a few days after that that I saw this shirt. And I was like, okay, that was meant to be. I'm, I'm totally into different signs. And it was like, that was a sign. <laughs> so, so I had to get the shirt. <laughs> So anyways, that's about all I have to show you and tell you. Um, this is going to be a short video. So keep a lookout for the next two videos, hopefully this weekend, for all of my Canadian um, friends out there. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it's, this weekend is our Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah. Oh, Totally forgot to tell you guys uh, this remember I was telling you that I was going to be talking to a diet specialist a doc a doctor that specializes in uh, losing weight he called me this morning um, I'm not going crazy I am just I'm totally oh, I'm Zen now with the world uh, he told me that I am insulin resistant and that is why when I'm doing diets, when I'm working out, when I'm, I'm doing all the right things, I'm not losing weight. He says, and the sleep apnea is a huge part of this because when you don't get enough sleep, your insulin raises up. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, so he said that I need to be back on keto or on a low carb diet and I am going to be put on metformin. So the metformin should level out my insulin levels and hopefully everything will be right with the world. Uh, the sleep apnea, I'm still trying to get a hold of MetPro to get fitted or whatever for the uh, machine. And he said that once I get that and I start sleeping better, everything will gradually get back to normal, whatever the hell the normal is, because <laughs> it's been so long since I've been normal. I don't even think I've ever been normal. But, um, and then hopefully the weight will start to drop off. <sighs> so that doesn't mean that I can't, I, that I shouldn't be doing any working out or anything, but my energy level will be up. I'm actually having a good day today, considering everything that just happened this morning. Oh, what a nightmare. Um, but I should be getting my energy up and um, then I can start working out. So I'm really hoping to get that, to do that. Because uh, I found, I think it was um, Gary from Urban Yarns was talking about this... Uh, um, exercise coach on YouTube that dances to music and does themes and all that. So I checked her out and I'm thinking I can do that. That's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to start trying to do that as well. And my niece was like, okay, tell me, we're going to have this little battle where I'm going to do the video and she's going to do the video and we're going to see who can lose some weight. So, um, that should be interesting. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, really, Bailey? Did you hear that? She's like, <sighs> yeah, that's kind of how I felt this morning. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, yeah. My videotape some of that. It might be really ugly, so I may not. <laughs> but anyways, okay, guys, that's all I have to tell you. Things are looking better. Things are looking up. I'm not crazy. I'm not, you know, I, I'm feeling so much better just knowing that it's medical problems. It's not me. Uh, so, yay. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, go do the things, okay? And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah! Okay, bye. Peace.